Hello, Big Show nerds. Thank you once again for joining me. I am, as usual, Dustin. You are watching the Big Show Entertainment Media Network, and these are your nerdy news headlines for July 12th, 2019. Jumping right into TV news, guys, we have a couple of Walking Dead updates. First off, we have a new spin-off series that's going to be starting. Uh, don't know the title just yet, though we do know, at the very least, that they are actively casting for it, and it is going to revolve around two young female protagonists. So... Walking Dead Woke edition, maybe? And the other piece of Walking Dead interesting news comes from Angela Kang, who, talking to Entertainment Weekly uh, this past week, said that the return of Maggie is something that they are, quote, working on. Uh, no real detail. She couldn't go into anything further. But now that Lauren Cohen is effectively a free agent because Whiskey Cavalier has been canceled, like we talked about, it appears that it's not just the fans hoping and dreaming that she comes back. It is is actually the series itself that is hoping and dreaming that Lauren Cohen will return as Maggie in potentially season 11, not as likely for season 10. Next up is a quickie update on the Falcon and Winter Soldier Disney Plus miniseries that we know is happening. It appears that Disney Plus has brought in Derek Kolstad, who was one of the writers for John Wick, or the screenwriter, I believe, for John Wick. They've brought Derek in to the writing room for this series, which very well could mean we're going to see a very, very action-packed series with the Winter Soldier and Falcon. And then our last piece of TV news for this episode comes from your favorite Saturday morning cartoons. Though technically, this is a return to form for this particular cartoon, uh, just so I'm not burying the lead, we're talking about the Flintstones. It has been revealed that Warner Brothers is in the works to do a revival of the Flintstones with Brownstone Productions, which is owned by Elizabeth Banks, actress and now producer Elizabeth Banks. Her production company, Brownstone, is teaming up with Warner Brothers to do a more adult-oriented version of the Flintstones, very likely for HBO Max, because that seems to be the way of things anymore, though those specifics have not been made clear yet if it is going to be on broadcast television or streaming remains to be seen all we know is it's going to be adult oriented so again return to form for this because if you remember if you know your cartoon history both the flintstones and the jetsons started as primetime television shows that were kind of geared towards the entire family though with something that even adults could enjoy about the program now let's talk movies real quick, guys. We've got our first bit is a little bit of a cross-communication that just seems to have broken down. Eternals, Variety was reporting that for the Eternals movie, that Millie Bobby Brown was the newest cast member for the movie. And then just yesterday, last night, I believe, she went on her personal Instagram page and said, no, that's not happening. At least not as far as I know. And, you know, I would be the one to know. So... Maybe, maybe not. Millie Bobby Brown might be in the Eternals. The, the Variety could have quoted their source incorrectly. They could be looking to cast Millie Bobby Brown and just haven't yet, but we won't know until it happens, so we're moving on. Next is... Uh, kind of related in that it deals with another Stranger Things cast member. Uh, I'm going to say his name wrong. Dacre Montgomery. Dacre? Okay. Uh, he was Billy, I believe, in the... Uh in Stranger Things, and he was also the Red Ranger, though that might be where Billy's coming... Anyway, he was the, the, the jerk older brother in, in Stranger Things, and the Red Ranger in the reboot Power Rangers movie. Uh, he has told... <clears throat> on a Reddit AMA, he said that... Uh, the entire cast has been let go. They are... Hasbro is looking to reboot again the Power Rangers franchise that seems very strange but you know whatever um, next we're talking Space Jam 2 this is the first casting announcement that isn't an NBA player as far as I know and that is Don Cheadle 
Warner Brothers playing very tight to the chest. We don't know what role Don Cheadle is going to play. We actually don't know much about the plot to the movie so that we can make any speculations. But Don Cheadle has signed on to be in the movie at the very least. Then we got another one from Variety. Guy Ritchie is no longer directing the Sherlock Holmes movies. There is going to be a third Sherlock Holmes movie starring Robert Downey Jr. But unlike the first two movies, it will not be directed by Guy Ritchie. They have brought in instead Dexter Fletcher, who directed Rocketman, uh, to direct this movie. And then our final news update for movies, guys, is uh, around the Sonic the Hedgehog stuff. So if you don't know, Tim Miller, the guy who did uh, Deadpool 1 and a bunch of other great stuff, but Deadpool 1's the first one comes to mind, uh, he is producing the movie, and he has seen the character redesign, and he's been quoted as saying, by, again, Variety, he has been quoted as saying that the fans will be pleased with this character redesign, though uh, I feel like it's a tenuous, tenuous tightrope to walk with this beloved and still kind of not as well-known character. So we shall see when we get the first redone trailer. That does it for this episode of Headlines Nerds. Thank you once again for joining me in these episodes twice weekly for a more in-depth conversation on these nerdy bits, plus a lot more than you can join me on my personal YouTube channel, Generally Nerdy. We go through all kinds of stuff, Comic-Con, uh, in-depth movie reviews, all the fun things, uh, photography stuff, you know, all of that over on generally nerdy so go check it out but don't forget to like subscribe and share on all of the big show entertainment media platforms and tune in next time for all that is happening across the nerd world mm -hmm.